Hello, Sheridan Hill families. My name is Renee Harris, and I am the librarian at Sheridan Hill. I will be your child's library teacher this year. Welcome to the Sheridan Hill Library. Let me take you on a little tour. Over here is the Story Corner. Most of our primary classes begin here. The students come in, sit down, and we sing a song with Hedgy. After our stories, we will head over to the table area. Most of our third, fourth, and fifth grade classes take place at the tables. The Sheridan Hill Library is a very busy place. Students visit the library once a week with their class during specials. This week, I asked our students, what do we do in library? And here is what they said. We listen to stories. We read books. We borrow books. We get to play with robots. We go on the computer and learn how to code. We do projects where we learn about animals. We make videos with the green screen. In the Sheridan Hill Library, we believe that every child should have access to books that they love. Our library has a variety of fiction and nonfiction books. We have picture books, easy readers, transitional chapter books, graphic novels, fiction series, novels, poetry, fairy tales, and nonfiction informational books on hundreds of topics. Students are encouraged each week to find a book that they are interested in reading. In library class, children are encouraged to ask questions. Are spiny plants the Earth's fingernails? Why are plants different colors? Each class will embark on several mini research projects during the year. Children use nonfiction books, both print and electronic, databases like PebbleGo and WorldBook, age-appropriate websites, and other hands-on resources to answer their questions. Part of the library curriculum is digital citizenship. Our students need to understand that it is important to be safe online. We talk a lot about making good choices when using devices. Last year, one of our fifth grade students won a statewide contest with her poster about online safety. In the end, our students love coming to the library because they get to borrow books. They get to leave with a new treasure every week. Here are our book checkout guidelines. Kindergarten students can borrow one book. First and second grade students are able to borrow two books. Third graders can borrow three books. Fourth and fifth grade students can borrow up to five books. It is expected that each week the students return their books to the library. They should bring them back on the day that they visit the library. If a student wants to keep their book or books, they should tell the person in the library that they would like to renew their book. If a student does not return their book or books, then they cannot take out a new book. If your child gets a reminder about a missing book, it is simply that, a reminder. We do not charge overdue fees. During September, we spend a lot of time discussing how to take care of our library books. Here are some tips from our now fifth graders. To take care of a book, keep it in a safe place like your room. Keep your book away from anything that can stain it or make the book wrinkly. Keep your books away from water, pets, food, and crayons. Don't put candy by your book. Keep your library books away from your pets. Keep your books away from food and drinks. Keep books away from your pets. Keep your books in a safe place like a bookshelf. Or eat and read at the same time. Also, hide your crayons from babies so they will not draw in your book. If you have any questions about the library, the best way to contact me is through email. We are going to have a great year in the library.